Hello, I am Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about grading your footage. So, lately I've been working a lot with editing and making a lot of movies, uh, making a lot of edits and I wanted to grade them as good as I can, but like Premiere is doing a great job right now, you can see it right here. If you want to grade something, you just click on your footage and you get all these nice options, the elementary colors, which is great if you're going to do minor corrections, but not if you want to style your image really nicely. And then you can go and tend to go to speed grade or adventure resolve and all these great, um, great applications that you can use to grade your footage. And I don't say these these softwares are bad or something they're really really good but I'm not using them um, but I'm not really familiar with them and I don't want to learn a new software again because I know quite a few softwares already and I want to just look at the result and really get my result as fast as possible and as good as possible and looking for that I've been so I've been searching for that and now I have found a solution, well, I have found that solution for quite a while, but I'm making a video on it right now. And I still think this is quite a nice solution. So, first of all, I just edit my complete video in the Adobe Premiere Pro. So, I just edit my whole video uh, together. And then I'm starting to reduce the noise on each clip like I have done in my previous tutorial. I'll link it up here. Um, so, I just apply all... Uh, need video to all my uh, video files here because it's recorded in slow motion so and uh, there's a lot more noise right now because of the slow motion and uh, that's uh, not really good for a low light and there was a low light situation here so um, I'm doing that on all my footage and then I'll render it out and then I go to export media and then I'll wait to uh, have my settings here and I change the format to H.264, well, basically that's standard right now. And I change my bitrate to 50 to 60, uh, which means that I'll, I'll preserve more detail in my video. You can see there's, there's absolutely no noise at all anymore. And actually, it's quite weird right now. So when I reduce noise, I grade it, and then afterwards, I'll apply a little bit more of noise. So it's kind of more realistic, because right now there is absolutely none and it's quite weird in my eyes so um, but that being said just render out your video and then import it in Photoshop so I'll just name this grading edit press export and I'll wait for it to render alright so um, my video just rendered out and now let's head to Photoshop so let's start up Adobe Photoshop and now it's just importing our video so I'll just search it here in the browser I have it right here and I'll just drag it in here so now it's going to load my video file in Adobe Photoshop and I can right click on my layer here so right click and convert it to a smart object and then if I scrub through my time and find a frame that I want to grade so something that looks kind of a uh, colorful I guess so something maybe this one here and let's start grading so I'll go to filter here and go to the camera raw filter you can also do every single shot separately um, but that's incredibly time consuming so I try to uh, do all my editing uh, just in once uh, not that it's the ideal way of grading but I color correct in Adobe Premiere Pro so I make all my footage match match up to each other and then I go to Photoshop to give it a great, to, to give it a style and look. So, uh, on the clarity, I'll increase this one here to like, let's say, 60% and decrease the highlights a bit. And add some contrast. There we go. Maybe some vibrance. Okay. And also, let's introduce some light and take some highlights away like so there we go and now the sharpening let's say uh, 25 sharpening no noise reduction because we already done that in Adobe Premiere and now something that I really love doing in Adobe Photoshop is here the hue changing the colors up uh, until I like them so you can really change every single color which is awesome so um, like let's say here want to get it like a little bit darker green uh, orange and gives it a really warm feeling like this is the original color 
this is the graded color and you, you really get the control over your image like and that's something that I really like doing in uh, Adobe Photoshop here so let's see here for the greens and there we go let's take a sign blue Okay, I think, I think this is okay, and now we can jump to the saturation, increase the saturation for the greens, the yellows, the oranges, well, the oranges, oranges, yeah, it's actually, I spell it right, okay, so, um, the blues as well, and just increase them all slightly like so, and then you can go over here to the luminance and, and see the differences for this here, so let's say, I'm going to change it like so. There we go, so make sure his jacket is okay. And then we can go to our effects here. If we have some uh, haze or if we have some mist in our footage, you can you can uh, delete it using this here. So like if it's kind of misty like so, you can, you can delete it with this option. Uh, but we don't have any in my footage, so let's just skip this. And then you can also go to the lens corrections and see if you want to change some, some things like uh, maybe I have to change a little bit of uh, chromatic aberration so I don't see much but just some so let's uh, go to color remove chromatic aberration and instantly I see a better uh, yeah a better shot here so especially on the tree you can see some uh, some chromatic aberration so if I zoom in here you can see here if I remove it we get these purples and greens and if I remove it it's it's gone so um, not completely gone so let's increase this like so or let's increase this here this range okay um, um, I think my grid is pretty nice let's click OK and let's see what difference it made so you can see instantly our footage looks awesome and yeah it came from something like this so now we can also go ahead and add some like black and whites here and decrease it to, like 20 or so and see what difference that makes uh, like desaturate it just a bit maybe 10 percent is okay and now you can scrub through your timeline and check if the other frames are also well done and once you're satisfied you can go to a uh, file and go to export export uh, render video and then you can just render out your video uh, on a location just use a high quality I'm using 4k here in h264 and that's actually all I do I just click render and then I get my video graded in Adobe Photoshop so it's a nice way of grading your your videos and I like using it it's completely up to preferences because you can go and learn a new software like speed grade and DaVinci Resolve but for most uh, for most cases this grade works fine for me I get great results my clients are happy I'm happy so that's the most uh, essential and in, in your production so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like and also uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and if you have any questions put them in the comments below I'll see what I can do okay goodbye and thank you for watching